Okay, Larry the Bass Man. GT. Cake Walk by Band Lab. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually take a video, this video, and we're going to put it to music. And not this song, but we have a different song. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you go ahead and do that now. And uh, I'll just wait while you subscribe. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so let's do, uh, let's start off with um, just uh, importing some video. So we're going to go to track number one, and we're going to actually, we have to create a, a video channel here. So uh, what's that cursor? We're going to go up to uh, import, and uh, import, um, and we have a video on the, up here on the, the desktop. I'll pull that in. And uh, notice what we're going to do here. We get a drop down in the bottom. That's where the video is going to be. And as we move up to the top here, I want you to watch my cursor as I go to the top. I'm going to show you something. Uh, see the name of the video. If we click on that film strip, then we get the uh, thumbnail. See the thumbnails pop in up there. Uh, kind of nice. And then if we hit that number eight, then you see the uh, frame uh, clip numbers uh, come up right there. See the numbers are on the clip. So that allows us to click one of those and that'll pull us at that point in time. And you can put an effect on there or whatever. So uh, the film strip is for the, um, uh, the thumbnails and the number eight is going to be for the, um, the clip numbers. All right. All right, good. So this is what we're going to do. We got some special effects there. You see those big puppy things here. We want to make that sound effect come in and we need sound effects for that fire as well, and we're gonna make a turning sound for turning that uh, camera around like that. You know, this is uh, some of the things we're gonna do. And then we need some jet sounds for the airplane floating around in there. And we're gonna do all that by adding third-party plugins. <laughs> you know, that's the good thing about Sonar, uh, Kickbox by Bandmap, it allows you to pull in third-party plugins. Uh, here's uh, one good example of, uh, you know, going from frame to frame. See, like, we just went to that one clip, you know, and the clip number's right there. It's uh, 1702. It tells you where that is uh, along the line. Um, that particular clip, we can go there and put a sound effect on that clip, and uh, we can uh, come up here to a different uh, frame number. And here, uh, we're going to do our screen sizes. So right now, we're at a stretch window. We're going to go to original size. And uh, if we clicked on a different uh, frame, see how the original size is, it gets a little bigger. Some people like to work with a big screen like this, you know, where you have a big screen and uh, that way, you know, you have a lot to look at and uh, other people don't. So what we can do is luckily we have the option of um, changing the size of the screen uh, using BandLab. So we hit another clip and uh, we have this particular uh, Cut right here, and if we wanted to put an effect on there, or a sound effect, or a visual effect, you know, we could just like kind of hit those clips up there, uh, clip numbers, and uh, just uh, go right to that area and uh, make our sound effect in that, or start the music from that particular point. And so we can scroll to any one of those and um, find something we like and uh, and put our effect on there. You know, as we said. Okay, so let's get the the, the the screen down to stretch to window. When you say stretch to window, this is what it'll do. You have to hit on another clip to make it go. But it's, see, it's smaller. And if it's smaller like that, then you have more room for your tracks. You know, if you wanted to pull down and so you can see the whole video down there. And, um, but, you know, that gives you room to put your music tracks so you can see those alongside. So once again, go to stretch options. And uh, here's a, uh, Original size and that's uh, protect aspect ratio aspect ratio. <laughs> you read that though, read that, so you know what I was trying to say. But uh, anyway, this is um, this is a really good one because you can see the entire piece, uh, the video, and you don't get fragments of it. If you get really big, you're only going to get certain portions of it. But uh, you know, some of the aircraft go off frame, and you'll know exactly. What you can do, uh, you know, because you can see the whole picture in there. And 3404 is where we are, and that's the timer, of course. So, so we're going to go back to, you know, my favorite. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, 
uh, stop this uh, particular video right here, and then we're going to have you uh, check out the next video. This is, uh, I think we've got to get this under seven minutes, so we're going to have to do this in two parts. Okay, so part two, we're going to actually uh, start pulling the music and the sound effects in on Okay, remember, like the channel, uh, donate a million dollars on the website. <laughs> no, just kidding. I mean, but you can't donate a million dollars on the website. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke. Don't do it unless you can do it. Okay. So anyway, Larry DeVay's man out. That didn't record or it did record? I can't tell. I think it did.